By the end of this video, you're going to know the best settings to put on your YouTube videos in order to increase the reach that you're getting. Because if you post using the wrong settings or you mess up one of the other three things I'm going to share with you in this video, it could be the reason that you're not getting the reach that you want to on YouTube, even though you're putting in a lot of effort. In fact, I just helped this creator make these changes and it blew up their channel and this creator and they didn't change anything else about their content other than what I'm going to share with you now. Change number one is you need to make sure that you are 100% confident that both your title and your thumbnail are going to stand out compared to the videos that they are going to be showing up against. Because if that doesn't happen, it doesn't matter what you do with your video, you're not going to get reach. Here's how you can actually guarantee that. Okay, now in order to actually make sure that your video is going to get seen on YouTube and more importantly get clicked, what you need to do is do a search for whatever keyword your YouTube video is about. For example, this video right here is about turning on YouTube monetization for YouTube Shorts. So when I type in YouTube Shorts monetization, this will show me how this video looks compared to all the other videos that it's going to be showing up against. And there are a few things I want to make sure happen. First and foremost, I want to make sure that if I show a dollar amount, it's bigger than anybody else's because this person showing a dollar amount that says 24,000. So I want to make sure that it's more than that. In addition to that, I want to make sure that it's going to be faster than whatever this person is promising. Basically, humans want more. They want it faster. And you also want to make sure that your stuff is brighter and more convincing. For example, if we look at this video right here that I did, it says monetize YouTube shorts without any subscribers. None of these actually mention that. And more likely than not, people that are watching this video don't have enough subscribers in order to actually get monetized on YouTube. So that's going to be incredibly enticing. And this is exactly what you need to do. You need to make sure that your title and your thumbnail stand out against the ones that are going to be showing up against because otherwise what's going to happen is you could upload a video with the right settings. You could make a really good video, but your video isn't actually going to get clicked on because you didn't take into consideration all the other videos it's going to be showing up against. Change number two is you need to make sure that you're using AI in order to edit your content. If you spend more than one hour a day right now editing your YouTube content, it's because you're not leveraging AI tools that can help you significantly speed up your process. Now here's why Kling AI is my favorite AI tool for editing YouTube videos. If you come over here, you could see that you could get started right now for free. You literally just drag and drop a video into here and then you'll be able to see exactly what this looks like. So this looks like any normal editor, except they have this enhanced feature right here. I can automatically add in different jump cuts right here. And I could change how much they zoom in or how little they zoom in. I could center it to face. I could automatically add in B-roll right here and I could choose whether it's minimal B-roll or maximum B-roll. I could automatically come in here and actually enhance the audio. And I could pull up this AI studio right here where I'll be able to customize exactly what the background of the video looks like. And as you can see right here, we can also adjust the pacing of the video. We could split things. We could show the cuts. We could skip the cuts. We could see exactly what our transcript is right here. And this makes this incredibly easy for you to be able to edit your YouTube videos with AI. In fact, the average person that uses Gling cuts our editing time in half. Now, if you want to try Gling for yourself, check out the pin comment below because you could try it right now for free. Okay, so now that we've gotten those two things out of the way, here's how you correctly go through and upload one of your videos on YouTube and all the settings that you need to make sure are enabled. Okay, so when you're actually uploading a video to YouTube, here's what you need to do. The first thing you need to do is you need to come over here, you need to click on create, click on upload video, and then you're gonna select your video file. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna be uploading this one right here, and we can see that the title of this video is gonna be 10 new Gemini settings and features you're not using, but should be. Now, one thing you're gonna notice is that I named the file of this video the same exact thing as the title of this. And the reason that I did this is because it increased the odds YouTube actually shows the content to the right people. Now, in addition to that, I need to write a description that is gonna be anywhere from one to three sentences that has the same keywords that are showing right here in the title. For example, I might wanna put something like, this video shows you 10 new Gemini settings and features you're not using right now, but you should be using. If you wanna learn more about how to use Google Gemini, this video is a perfect step-by-step -step guide tutorial to watch. Now, essentially what I did here was I took a bunch of different keywords somebody might search for around Gemini. If you don't know what Gemini is, it's Google's AI that's very similar to ChatGPT. So we've got a perfect title here. I've got a perfect description. Now, if I scroll down, you could see that this is also where I 
can actually put some links. So if I was going to put links, I would put links here. I would put at a maximum three links. You never want to put more than three links because here's the thing about humans. If you give them more options, they end up doing nothing. If you don't believe me, go ask your friend to do three things. Go ask your kid to do three things. Go ask one of your parents to do three things, and I guarantee they don't do all three of them. They maybe do one, maybe they'll do two. But if you only ask them to do one thing, I bet a lot higher odds that they actually end up doing that thing. Same thing with people on YouTube, so please don't add too many links. It'll actually decrease the conversion rate that you get on all of them. Now, in addition to that right here, we need to upload the thumbnail. And what are you going to notice? That the thumbnail file name is also the same as the title. What this does is helps find the right content and the right audience on YouTube. So the YouTube algorithm knows exactly who to show the content to. And this is really, really important. So please don't skip that. Now, when it comes to playlists right here, it's fine to put your content in playlists. Don't go crazy though. Have two of them, have three of them, have four of them. I break them out by the different type of content that I actually upload on this channel. For example, I upload about growing on YouTube. I upload about growing and monetizing TikTok and Instagram. I've uploaded a few videos about Facebook, so I added this here, but you don't want to go crazy adding in playlists because it's really not that important. Now, if you were making children's content, for example, teaching children how to read or something like that, you would mark this as yes. Otherwise, it's just always going to be no. And this is really, really important because if you mess up this setting right here, it could decrease your reach. Now, if your video is a paid promotion, you need to disclose it right here. This doesn't mean you're promoting your own stuff. It means that you are getting paid in order to actually make that video. For example, if I was getting paid by Brooks Brothers to make this video and say that Brooks Brothers is better than Ralph Lauren, I would have to disclose this here. But I'm not getting paid by Brooks Brothers. I'm just wearing their shirt, so I don't have to disclose it. And if one of you goes and buys a shirt, you probably can't buy this one because it doesn't exist anymore. But if you went and tried to do that, that wouldn't matter because I wasn't actually getting paid to do that. So only disclose this if you're getting paid for it. If you use AI to alter your content, not edit your content, but alter it, for example, make me say something I never said or something along the lines of that, you'll have to come in here and disclose this. And I would strongly suggest that you pay close attention to this because you YouTube is getting a lot more strict about this. When this first came out, they weren't that strict about it, but right now they are. If you don't know what answer to put here, you could always mark this as blank, or you could actually click right here to see examples of what they're actually deeming AI generated content. Now, you wanna make sure that this is clicked right here, this is clicked right here, this is clicked right here. These tags right here, you wanna make sure that you add in a bunch of tags that are going to be hyper relevant to what your video is about. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna to come to ChatGPT and I'm gonna say, please give me tags separated by commas around things people would search for for this YouTube video. And then we're gonna put the title right here. And what this is going to do is this should spit us out a bunch of good tags. So I'm gonna say, perfect, make it longer, 450 to 470 out of 500 characters. So in the beginning, you wanna just make sure that it actually does the thing the right way. And then you can get it to actually give you enough characters here. So. We could come in here, we could copy this. Now we could come back over here. We could scroll down to where we see tags. We see in the bottom right-hand corner, zero out of 500, because there's none added. Now we'll be able to add these things in, and this actually went a little bit too far. So we'll have to delete one of these, but these are basically perfect tags. You just want things that have the keywords or what people would search for in order to find your video, and then you just add that in there. Now, when we scroll down here, keep this as English. Don't touch this, don't touch this. Don't touch this, don't touch this. Definitely distribute it everywhere. I would always allow embedding. I would always publish to a subscription feed and notify subscribers unless you bought subscribers, then you'd wanna make sure that this is turned off. Automatic dubbing, don't touch this, just leave this on. This is gonna massively increase your reach, so please don't turn that off. Shorts remixing, I would always allow this. Education, this is gonna be, or rather category, this is gonna be whatever kind of content you're uploading. If you're uploading something about cars, use autos and vehicles. If you're uploading something about Minecraft, use gaming. Don't overthink this, just add the one that you wanna use. Now, if you are doing a how-to video, please make sure it's education. Make sure this type says how-to, otherwise, I would leave this type alone. And now from here, you're gonna to wanna to scroll down. You're gonna to want to leave all of this untouched right here. Always show how many viewers actually like the video because it just adds social proof. From here, you're going to approve monetization if you are monetized. Here, 
You just need to go through and make sure that your content doesn't actually hit any of these. Then just click none of the above, click submit rating. Basically, this will determine who is showing ads on your page and things like that. Once this is actually done, we could click next right here. The next thing we need to do is add in an end screen. I would strongly suggest you come into add, you click on element, you click on video, and you add an end screen video right here. And you wanna make sure that it shows as big as possible and that you call it out at the end of your video. If you wait for the end of this video, just a few minutes, I'm gonna be doing this and it's a perfect example of exactly how you should do it. I'm gonna call out what the next video is is, and then I'm going to tell you why you should watch it and then I'm actually going to show it there. Now you could choose most recently uploaded, you could choose best reviewer or a specific video. I would suggest that you do a specific video because it will actually increase your reach. Now come over here and we X out of this. For the sake of this we're just going to do best for viewers so that I can show you what other settings you need to turn on. From here we're going to click on next, nothing to do here. And now you could either set your video public or you could schedule it out to post at the time that you want it to. I would strongly suggest you don't put it as private, you don't put it as unlisted, and you don't put it as members only because those three things could potentially decrease your views. Now, if you're still struggling to grow on YouTube, but you know that you want to be a full-time YouTuber and you want to get monetized, or you want to use YouTube to actually grow your business, well, please check out this video right here because it walks you through the three different ways that we can work together one-on-one, -on -one, and I guarantee I can help you grow faster on YouTube. That sounds interesting. Well, please, I'll see you over there.